What is going on guys, Joe here, and I wanted to give you a quick little video, actually a really pretty exciting video, uh, at least for iPhone 5S users, uh, along with iPad mini with retina display and also iPad Air uh, users because the mobile substrate, which was the thing that we've all been waiting for, and I'm getting tweets here because I just tweeted out that the mobile substrate was just updated. So if you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff, uh, you probably already know this news, but... For A7 devices, meaning the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the iPad Mini with Retina Display, you're able to update mobile substrate. So, how you do that is go ahead and open up Cydia, and then we'll go down to Changes, and then be sure to hit Refresh if it doesn't pop up right here, Cydia Substrate. As you notice, mobile substrate is now renamed to Cydia Substrate. So basically, entirely like what this means, you can run tweaks and apps on your iPhone 5S, iPad Mini with Retina Display, and also the iPad Air. Also what this means is for other devices, it makes mobile substrate uh, more stable and things like that. Now, do be aware that the actual tweaks and apps have to be updated so it can run with ARM64 devices, basically meaning A7 devices like the iPhone 5S, all the latest devices basically. So uh, we're gonna go into Cydia Substrate, uh, we'll go to Modify, and then we'll simply go to Upgrade, and then we'll confirm that. And then now, once that is updated, you'll be good to go, you'll be able to run uh, majority of Cydia tweaks right now. Like I said, a lot of them have to be updated so they can run on ARM64 devices. So uh, just quick look here, it says Substrate version 0.9.5000 is now compatible with both iOS 7 and ARM64 CPU used in the iPhone 5S and many of those new iPads. So just go ahead and update Cydia Substrate, which was formerly known as Mobile Substrate, and you'll be good to go. So that is really it guys I just want to show you that quick little video here so uh, like I said majority of the apps that you are running uh, will be updated if they're not already updated for your iPhone 5s iPad mini with retina or iPad Air so just want to do a little quick video I know it's pretty late um, but like I said if you're following me on Facebook Twitter Google Plus you know that I was gonna be coming out with this quick little video just showing you how to update this so good news for us that are running a7 devices it actually didn't take too long uh, after the iOS 7 jailbreak was released. So shout out to Zurich for uh, updating the mobile substrate, also now known as the Cydia substrate. But anyways guys, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video, uh, and also for the latest news and jailbreak stuff. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any content. And be sure to follow me on any of my social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or Instagram, down below in the description. But other than that, that is gonna be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.